Village life has probably changed more in the last 20 years than in the last 200. All over the country, shops and other services are closing, removing what was once the cornerstone of rural life. This trend is not inevitable, however. Some villages have managed to reverse it by creating new shops in place of the old. Tackley in Oxfordshire is one example. In just a few years, it lost its pub, its post office and its shop. The villagers decided to get together and change things themselves. This can happen anywhere there is a collective will. The project to reopen the village shop first started when we realised that there were so many services in the village that we were losing. So the pub had closed and the shop closed, the post office closed, uh, the milk ground was in threat and a small group of us got together and said, hey folks, what are we going to do about this? And the first thing that we did was to put a questionnaire around the village we circulated it to every house and we got a 52% response rate which, which is amazed us and it gave us an indication of the sort of things that they wanted and so we started to explore where and how and when. What we then did was to look at the old pub, we looked at the old shop, we looked at that site and held a public meeting and we really put it to the villagers what would they like best. And after quite a long time and quite a lot of debate, what they decided was that we would like the Tackley all-in-one project. And the price they had to pay for that was that it would cost twice as much money and we would have to wait twice as long. And so we went on two tacks, really, for the fundraising. We had village efforts, um, which were about doing things that were small or large. In total, we got um, nearly £90,000 in that way. And then the second thing we did was to start sending application forms off for grants all over the place. To be perfectly honest, I worked for the NHS for very many years and I think what we've achieved in this village over the last four years in terms of the health of this local community is greater than all that time I spent in healthcare. It's great, it's fun, uh, people enjoy it, um, it's in profit um, and I hope it's here for a very long time. Do you want me to work it out for you? When there was no shop in the village, there was a great lack somehow. Um, there was no focal point, and the shop has provided a wonderful focal point. It's a tremendous social service, I think. Well, I volunteered because I thought the shop was a wonderful idea and it was something the village really required. And I've retired, obviously, and I'm very happy to give some time to the shop. Can I have 50 pounds? The shop I visit practically every day. I meet friends here, people who live quite near to me. This is really the centre of the village. It's a considerable blessing to me to be able to walk here. I don't have a car and it's quite right that I shouldn't run a car because uh, I, I'm single and uh, it's at great expense and I would, in any case, like to see a lot of the cars off the road. With the increasing cost of fuel and a greater awareness of the environmental impact of driving to the shops, it makes sense to have one right on your doorstep. Public transport in rural areas is under threat in many regions, so for those without their own transport, a village shop is not a luxury, but an essential part of life. We moved to this area a couple of years ago. I don't think we would have considered actually moving here had it not been for the shop. The shop is fantastic because we can just come here, it's a three minute walk away. You discover that you've run out of something, something essential like milk or nappies for example. We can come straight to the shop, pick it up and go home. Um, so I think particularly for people with young families and, and the elderly, having a local shop is a godsend. It fosters a sense of community and it's incredibly convenient. Tackley Shop relies on an enthusiastic staff of volunteers who keep the shelves stocked and serve customers. But the committee decided that a full-time manager should oversee the day-to-day -day running of the operation. The recruitment of volunteers may seem a difficult process, but in most villages there are people who are prepared to help make this sort of enterprise a success. The way in which we recruit volunteers is usually by word of mouth. Someone who is a volunteer might know someone that's just retiring or coming up to retirement or some school leaving might want to do it and they'll recommend them and 
you know, sort of say, come along. And I think if they enjoy being a volunteer themselves, they're the best people to recruit new volunteers. When I first saw the job advertised, I had no idea of what it would be like, but it is absolutely fantastic. And if I didn't need the money, I'd do it for nothing. And I love it. It's the best job I've ever had. It really is the best job I've ever had. Of course, one of the advantages of a village shop is that the locals can bring in their local produce and there's allotments right behind the village shop, really adjacent to it, and a lot of fresh produce is brought in and it's still sort of got the earth on it. Well, local produce is a huge advantage. I mean, it's great if you can come and buy lettuce straight out of the gardens. It's fantastic. Why do I use a shop? <laughs> Get me groceries and odds and ends. Of course, a village shop doesn't just benefit the community it serves. Many local suppliers will also profit from increased sales and the opportunity to reduce the distances they deliver. Other businesses too can benefit from the shop's position as the centre of a community and intactly a fresh fish fan is not seen as competition but as an additional service. With the explosion of information technology, more and more people now work from home. A modern village is as much a place of work as a place of residence. Each community has its own requirements to which a community shop can easily respond. For villagers wishing to start a similar venture, there is help at hand. The Plunkett Foundation assists those who, like the residents of Tackley, want to take control of their own future. Versa is an activity of the Plunkett Foundation and we're the only national charity supporting community-owned shops in rural villages. Versa started in the early 80s and since then 180 community-owned shops are now in existence and Versa has helped the majority of those in some ways. The cost of setting up a shop can vary considerably. Tackley was at the top end with a new extension to the village hall. But at the other end of the scale, there are shops that have opened requiring perhaps just £20,000 to set up a porter cabin. We can help with advisors coming out to visit communities. People will find that once communities start to raise their own funds, then further funding will become available. We have a website and on that site there's lots of useful information. There are very practical advice sheets that people can download to help them through the process. And sometimes we run grant programmes and there are full details on the site about those. Also here in our head offices in Woodstock then anybody is welcome to phone in and to ask for information. One of the questions that people ask is, is it worth it? And my answer to that is a resounding yes. I volunteered because I think it's nice to give something back to the community. And I think it reflects how the shop works. As I said, it's part of the community and therefore you can get involved in the community. That just, just builds, builds the closeness of the community. And also it's quite good fun, isn't it? Everybody wanted to be a shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs>